Hey guys, here's a little brain tickler for you. I'm reviewing uh, math because I'm going to be taking some courses at college, get a certificate, and uh, you know I'm just going through absolutely all the basics because I want to make sure that everything's clear in my mind when I take my placement test so I don't have to uh, pay for these math courses where I should know the math, right? And uh, you know, obviously, you got negative numbers and you got positive numbers in the most simple terms. And this idea just popped into my head because the review I'm watching is using colors to you know use all the numbers they put like this color and then this color and this color. I thought what if they had colored numbers? You'd have an infinite array of possibilities. Instead of positive and negatives, like let's say you had uh, a red number and a blue number and you added them, would that make a purple number? Right? Or uh, a white number and a red number would make a pink number. Or a yellow number and a red number would make an orange number. And I was just thinking could that be used in computational terms now that we're talking about using, uh, you know, uh, fiber optic uh, processing, you know, where everything is going to be optical, it's going to be sending little pulses of light because, uh, you know, electrons are getting too big for the uh, nanometer size of chips. What if uh, you were using colored light on a, a spectrum and you were able to, then, you know, the reception of it, same deal, you'd have an infinite... Uh, array of values. It wouldn't have to just be zeros and ones. It could be any range of colors. I thought that might be a, a leap for computing where we could go from binary to uh, more like a spectral uh, form of number crunching, if you want to think of it that way. Data crunching. Just a brain tickler. Let me know what you think. Am I totally crazy? Or, uh, or could that be the new future of computing?